happens when the suspension gets a new design. Under the hood, Chrysler wisely decided to stay with familiar concepts. There's the base 3.6 liter Penstar V6 engine. It's rated at 292 horsepower and 260 foot-pounds of torque, a worthy replacement for both of the V6s formerly offered in this sedan. The other option is the 5.7 liter Hemi, cranking out 362 horsepower and 392 foot-pounds of torque. This engine does offer the option of running on four cylinders at highway speed. For our test, we put the V6 to work on a 350 mile drive from Atlanta to the Alabama Gulf Coast. Operating on regular unleaded and even willing to accept E85 rated fuel, it delivered 30 miles to the gallon on the open road. In short, there were no stops for a refill in either direction. Interior space remains about the same with ample room front and rear. The brand likes to boast about its very large display screen on the dashboard. We found that without a navigation system interface, the audio information looked a little lonesome on this. The 300 design team did keep it easy to modify the sedan with three factory option wheel systems and the ability to go even higher end. Perhaps what is best about the sedan is that it took corporate near-death experience for the company to turn loose the people with interesting ideas for the flagship vehicle in its lineup. This is Greg Morris. We want to know what you think, so email us. The address is bumper to bumper TV at cs.com.